hey aquarius <laughs> welcome or welcome back to my channel hey 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 how you doing you feeling good i'm kk reads what's popping what's cracking i'm just as tired as i look i'm just as tired as i look i can't even talk but i'm still gonna get this motherfucker done we gonna i've been pushing out this content um so anyway this is your week ahead predictions i hope that these messages resonate i hope that you enjoyed this reading and we're gonna jump right on into it let me just shuffle these cords real fast how will the week ahead be for my Aquarius? Make these messages as clear as possible in the rest of your spirit, guys. How will the week ahead be for my Aquarius? How will the week ahead be for my Aquarius? Make these messages as clear as possible in the rest of your spirit, guys. How will the week ahead be for my Aquarius? Okay, so we have adjustments are required. We have third quarter moon at the bottom of the deck. We have you are good enough. Full moon in, in Virgo. You know, I don't I don't know what's been going on. I'm just going to like be as transparent as possible. Like, I feel like I have done a lot of healing. You get what I mean? I feel like I have done a lot of healing. And I don't know if a lot of us Aquarius are in the same space. Maybe it's like, I'm very much at peace. Even, I'm, I'm your reader. I'm just simply your reader. But I feel like a lot of times my readings that I have for Aquarius do resonate to me in some way, shape, or form. But it's like, what do you need to adjust? Like, what's going on, Aquarius? What do you need to let go of? We have you are enough. I feel like you are enough. Like, you are enough. Like, you may not need another person. You may not, um, you may not need another person. Some of y'all could be, I'm not going to hold you. I'm going to say how I see it. Maybe some of y'all could be very desperate for love because you don't want to be alone. You get what I mean? Like, maybe you feel like you don't want to be alone. Maybe you feel like you're not going to be as successful as you could be if you're just doing this, doing certain things by yourself. And that's crazy because the players are so independent. But if you can't be single or if you can't, like, get away from something that you know is unhealthy or toxic. I don't know. How would the week ahead be for Aquarius? We have the Ace of Swords. How do we get happy for Aquarius? How do we get happy for Aquarius? We have the Four of Pentacles. We have the Seven of. I don't know why. I feel like that some type of truth has been hidden from you. We have the Ace of Swords or the Four of Pentacles. We have the Ace of Swords, Four of Pentacles, the Seven of Wands. Maybe you could be holding back the truth, or maybe there's something that you want to say and that you're you, you kind of keeping it to yourself just to protect the boundaries or like have set firm boundaries. Some of y'all could also be realizing like maybe you need to um like with your money career, your finances or something like that. Your money could be a little bit funny to take with resonate, so you could be a little bit frugal about your spending. Or you come to that realization, like, okay, money is a little bit tight, or you know, maybe some of y'all, y'all, there's something that you are not comfortable with, but you still, okay, let's see. How the week ahead be for my Aquarius? We have the Will of Fortune. We have the Two of Swords. In divine time, you're going to be able to cut something off, cut someone off. We have the Queen of Swords. Maybe even get a divorce if you need to get a divorce. And we have the King of Wands. Um, We have, and then I'm, think, I'm thinking about the Ace of Swords and the Two of the two of Swords. Some of y'all need to break up or leave your person. Somebody, somebody somebody that you are connected with may not be the best for you. Or somebody could be walking away from you. We have the Heart Farm. We have the Strength card. We also have the Justice card being here. I want to say that something may not be the best for you. Something may not be the best for you. I'm not a firm believer of like, hey, go back to your past, but maybe you, some of y'all could have been happier elsewhere, take what resonates. Um, but if that's not that, it's not that. But I do get a sense that you guys have outgrown a particular situation. Not outgrown it, but I don't know. In due time, everything is gonna, the truth will The truth will reveal itself with the will of fortune and the ace of swords being here. Divine timing or divine intervention is at hand. Okay, I feel like some of y'all also are wanting to cut off whatever is making you feel uncomfortable. Like I said, with the four of pentacles, the two of swords, something can make you feel uncomfortable. All right, some of y'all are thinking about being single. Some of y'all are thinking about being single or moving away, divorcing or something like that. Excuse me, because you know the King of Wands is all about taking action. The Queen of Swords is like, you know, she's thinking about it before she do it. But the King of Swords is like, you know what, fuck that. I'm taking the lead. Like, you said that you want to do what? Let's do it. Okay? Some of y'all are creating a new, um, new firmer boundaries for yourself, too. How would the week ahead be for my Aquarius? And we also have temperance. Yep. 
if you the ace of swords and with the ace of swords and the tempers being here the truth will re be revealed so you don't have to do anything you may have to sit back relax pay attention don't put yourself in harm's way but the truth will be revealed sooner than you expect how will the week ahead be for my aquarius but you have to keep waiting a little bit longer because that is the temperance so with the four we have the four wands we also have the four uh we have the four of pentacles we have the four of wands some of y'all not budging like i said maybe your situation may, may not be as comfortable as you would like it to be maybe you don't like your home like you don't like your living situation maybe like i said your money could be a little bit funny um some of y'all the person that you are with you don't want to be with that person i'm also getting a sense that um yeah let's see how the week i have you for my aquarius Seven of Wands, we have the Two of Wands being here. Seven of Wands, Two of Wands. Some of y'all are adjusting your, what do you want to call it? You could be adjusting your your um, boundaries. You could be adjusting your boundaries, picking and choosing who you want around you and stuff like that. Um, your circumstances, your situation. But like I said, some of y'all are not leaving. You're just doing things a little bit differently. So if you're in a romantic relationship, you're not leaving your partner. You're just doing things differently. If you had a job, you may not like it, um, but you're doing things so you can feel more comfortable with doing what you're doing, you know? So like I said, there's no movement in that situation. So even if you are in a romantic relationship, if you are single, not romantic, romantic situation. If you are single and you have boundaries, I do feel like some of y'all could be getting out with on a dating scene or something like that. Take what resonates. It doesn't have to be that, but you're doing it in a different type of way, different type of manner. Okay, so even if it's like online day, dating, it's going to be different. If you out outside, it's going to be different. You know what I'm saying? Like before you probably was just like willing to talk to anybody that's talking to you. Now you're just like, yeah, I'm not talking to any and everybody. Some people be like, oh, that wasn't me to say there. I'm an Aquarius. And I know I'll be lying too when I be saying like, oh, I have always been this type of person that likes men that, um that provide for me or this that and there. I would be lying if I said that because at one point in time, I didn't, I didn't care, but you know what I'm saying? So, you're doing things a little bit differently. Make these messages as clear as possible in the first place. Spirit, guys, how will the week ahead be for my Aquarius? How will the week ahead be for my Aquarius? I'm tired. But anyway, with the Will of Fortune, we also have the Nine of Cups being here. There's going to be a wish fulfillment happening, and I feel like you have waited long enough for it. We have Three of Cups. I see Three Cups with Stars. Three Cups with Stars. You could be reconciling or getting back aligned with what was what you're destined to do. Um, I always say to people, like, having the wrong people in your life will steer you off of what you are destined to do or who you are destined to be. But I feel like that's all working out, how like, how it needs to work out. We do one, two, three, four, five, six. We have the six card. Some some of y'all are getting some type of, um, I also feel like, what, what is it called? Um, somebody is going to be wanting to rekindle the relationship. You may be willing to rekindle the relationship, maybe even go out on a date with this particular person okay how will the week ahead be for aquarius we have the queen of swords and we have the two of we have the, the the queen of swords above the two of swords then we have the queen of swords out here again so i feel like what you're trying to cut off or what you will be cutting off is being cold detached like you could have been that person for a very long time you could have been single for a long time that could lead you to be a little bit bitchy or being a little bit you know how will the week ahead be for aquarius We have the Queen of Swords, and we also have the Knave of Swords, which is the Page of Swords. Somebody's watching you from a distance. Like I said, can't make this shit up. We have the Six of Wands. This person could be a Sagittarius Leo or Aries. It doesn't have to be that. But somebody's going to be taking action towards you. Somebody's going to be coming back around. With the Emperor, with the Chariot card, we have the Eight of Wands. Yeah, somebody's going to be coming in with communication. This person could be a Cancer. We also have uh, Aries being here. Um, I already said fire sign, right? So somebody's going to be coming and giving you some type of attention or wanting to speak to you or seeing how you're doing, whatever the case is. But that's what I have for Aquarius. I hope that these messages resonated. If it did, let me know in the comment section. I love y'all so much. Stay blessed. Stay amazing. Peace out, y'all.